What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks. In today's video is going to be a Joey Jordison paint tutorial slash time lapse. We have the 83 Caesar here. This is the same exact mask that Joey Jordison used on the first two records. But I can just buy that in Party City. If you think that, then you are a fucking idiot. I'm getting so sick of explaining to you guys that these 83 Caesars are very rare. And yeah, they're just a plain white mask. But to any collector that has half of a brain cell and one working eyeball, you can clearly spot the differences between these plain white masks and the plain white masks that you guys can find at Party City. These are old and rare and made by a company called Caesar and have not been around for a very long time and these are basically a needle in a haystack so you will not find these very easily and uh, they are a high price item at the moment so yeah I get it they're a plain white mask but if you can't tell the difference between this one and one that you guys can find at Party City that is on you not me I'm sick of explaining that. So with that being said we are going to be starting on a Gods of Metal Joey. I had one in my collection up until a few months ago I'm pretty sure that that one was the best replica in the world but unfortunately it had started to yellow because I sold it to a guy that guy smoked a lot then I bought it back from him a couple years ago and it was super yellow so I ended up selling it off to another friend of mine who really wanted it and I have no idea where it is now because I don't believe that he still has it so today we're on a mission to make the world's best Joey Jordison Kerrang slash gods of metal replica and this is what we are going to be using on the up-and-coming Joey Jordison bus that will accompany the Sid Wilson bus that I finished a couple weeks ago so I've got my paint here this is uh, modeling paint like for model cars and stuff it is made by a company called testors and uh, just black and red like the most basic thing ever they sell this at Hobby Lobby it's like a dollar fifty each and uh, it goes on just like back in focus it goes on just like nail polish which is what Joey painted his mask with so that's what I'm working with I have my pencil here to uh, trace out some stuff make sure that I get all the lines nice and clean and where I want them and then paint brushes obviously so uh, we're gonna switch over to the GoPro now and uh, it'll be start to finish working on this Kerrang Joey so I'll see you in just a second
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this one finished. I do believe that this is as good as it's going to get, although I think I may end up going over it with a gloss clear coat just to kind of make the uh, mask itself look a little bit shiny. I was studying some photos of Joey's mask in its current day, and it seems like a lot of the finish had come off. So it's not so matte, and uh, it's kind of glossy, so I may end up doing that. But for right now, this is what I'm calling finished. Uh, I got a little bit of weathering there on the forehead because the mask was still somewhat new when he was using it for Tattoo the Earth, and uh, the weathering itself is just pretty light because I didn't want to go super heavy like Iowa or anything. But yeah, I'm definitely stoked with the way that it came out. I think it looks as good as I'm going to get it. I know a lot of people have trouble nailing these and a lot of it comes down to the lips. I don't know why, but people cannot get that lip shape correctly. So I made sure to really take my time with this and uh, just kind of do the best that I could. And I definitely think that it is bust worthy. So I can't wait to start setting up the Joey Jordison bust to accompany that Sid Wilson bust that we did not too long ago. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and we will see you later.